Hello, good morning. Good morning, Allison. How are you? You know, I'm pretty good. I had vacation time this week. I did a staycation, essentially. That's how I picked my mug. Um, it's actually all worn off. You can't really see it, but it says, Darling, let's be homebodies. One of my friends gave this one. And I like it because it's clear, um, but also because of that. And so that's very fitting. That's why I chose it today. Um, I took a anywhere right now anyways. Yeah, I can't really go anywhere anyway that was I had this time off because I was going to go visit my brother in DC but of all the places to go if the museums aren't open if like that's a place where you're going to things to do not like the, where yeah. you know so um but so when I was talking to him about this I said oh no I'm taking you know I'm just going to take that time and what you know whatever and he said well why aren't you rescheduling it and I was like why would I reschedule it and he's like to the time when you do something and I was like but I don't want to do something. I just want to stay at home. That's the beauty. Exactly. He's like, what are you doing this week? And I'm like, well, I guess just the thing I'm not doing is going to work. <laughs> um, it's more about relaxing. There's just something about not having anything to do, no deadlines, you no don't alarm. have to your alarm. Yeah, that, that yeah. that's just love. Thing. Anyone who's watched this, even even just casually knows that I very much love my job and it's not trying to escape from my job. It's just like the no alarm that I can eat any time of day, whenever I want, whatever I want, just such little things. And right. I feel like at any point, if you could like look inside me, what I am wanting to do is just sit in my chair and read, like no matter where else I am, what would I really want to be doing? Is sitting in that chair and reading with coffee. <laughs> so I got to do that for four days. So I'm feeling good. <laughs> Good, good, very good. I, uh, I worked this week, but everything's good. Getting ready for opening up next week because I probably heard the library is reopening on Tuesday and we're letting public in the buildings. Um, there's lots, lots has changed. Um, one thing you should know is we're doing um, a lot to make the library safer. We um, we are limiting the number of people who are allowed in the building. Um, so there might be times, especially at some of those smaller branches where you're told, hey, hold on, wait a few minutes before you come in. Mm -hmm. um, we've also taken away uh, all of the seating. Well, not all of it, most of the seating. Um, we're really trying to encourage people to not linger. Um, it's more of a come in, look around, get your stuff, do what you need to do. We're not, you know, we don't want you to not come, but um, it's not really a place where you probably want to linger anymore. Um, so a lot of the seating has disappeared. Um, computers, only half of the computers in each location are going to be in service um, because of social distance spacing. In order to be six feet apart, we had to take about half of the computers out of service. Um, so that has happened. Um, you will very quickly notice changes at the desks when you come in. Um, we all have plexiglass barriers so that um, to protect you and the staff um, during those interactions at the desk that you have. Um, staff will all be wearing masks and um, we, we do, um, staff are checked when we come into the building, we have our temperatures taken and, um, you know, just a general, are you feeling okay? <laughs> kind of check every day. Uh, so we have our temperatures taken when we come in and um, we're washing our hands and hand sanitizing a lot. Um, we do have hand sanitizer out for the public and I'll warn you now, it is liquid. We could not get the gel in any kind of large quantity. So it is liquid. So be careful with the pump. You don't want to get a, like a whole ladder squirt. Um, only have to use a little bit. <laughs> um, what else? Um, we are uh, still quarantining materials for 72 hours. And that is a CLC, that is the consortium we belong to, CLC-wide, all the libraries that we ship material between have agreed to quarantine material for 72 hours before shipping it out to another library. So the hold that you're receiving from another library has been set aside for 72 hours before you receive it, even before it's been put in delivery for it to get to you. 
Um, and so, then anything that you return to our library is also set aside for 70 hours for our safety, but also for everyone else's. So things will stay on your account a little bit longer than normal. Also, sh delivery is taking a little bit longer. It'll take a little bit longer for your holds to get to you. Um, another thing to know, uh, all of the toys have been put away at the ELC. So it's, there's not going to be things out to play with. Um, so that is very different um, because a lot of people come in just for those ELCs to have something to do. And But right now that's just, it, it's very dangerous. We are wiping things down regularly, but those toys are just it, too risky. Um, the way we looked at it at the Northwest branch, which has an ELC, is saying, is looking at it like the, ELC area is open for browsing books, but it's not open for play, basically. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, because we have, I'm sorry, Leah, we have the reputation as being the fun library. Um, you are definitely library <laughs> because we have a lot of toys. Um, I know it's not us. Um, maybe it's a little us, but probably mostly just that we are filled with toys. And so I'm definitely fearful that we're going to lose our reputation of the fun library. So we're gonna have to just hit it real hard in every other way that we can, story times, whatever, to maintain our status as the fun library. <laughs> but even like story times, we're not doing in-person programming um, for the foreseeable future. That's going to remain online. Um, so yay, we get to still meet like this, Allison. Exactly. Our, our program gets to keep going, which is great. And I know our virtual story times, I know that people like attending them. I know our staff really loves doing them. They love the chance to see in the comments. Um, they Sometimes in the comments, people, kids will comment, send pictures, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I know that staff really enjoy seeing that. When will you be opening? It's allowed now. We're opening on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on Tuesday, um, and we have reduced hours. Um, we're not, we don't have the normal hours that we had before. Um, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 to six, Friday, Saturday, 10 to two, just the same hours that we've had for curbside pickup. Those are the hours we, we will be having um, um, during this phase of our transitioned reopening. Um, we'll have those same hours um, at the libraries. Those will be the hours the libraries are open. So Sunday and Monday, we will be closed. Um, and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 to 6, Friday, Saturday, 10 to 2. Yeah. So, Julie, it is Tuesday with those restricted hours and then um, with some limited um, limited access inside. Let fewer people inside and fewer seating options if you're just catching yeah. up. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be different. Um, very different. But we're, we're glad to be able to allow people inside again though because it's just not the same i as an avid reader library user and book buyer it's just not the same to not be able to browse the shelves like right. you just want to come in and see what's around you and be able to pick things out and so i'm really glad that people will be able to do that again and i know they tell you not to never judge a book by its cover but you do you're like oh yes. i love this cover i'm gonna try it you know that's exactly how i judge all my books almost exclusively yeah, I, there was this one book I picked up. It was an author I had never heard of before, but I liked the cover. It was this like um, gingham dress with a woman holding a, a green apple, and I was just like, "That's adorable!" And now Jocelyn Jackson is one of my like favorite authors, and I like I read her books. So what a happy story, and it's all due to whoever, whatever marketing yeah. portion of the publishing house. <laughs> the cover. Yeah, yeah I no, I yeah, I usually. I don't know. This just that is just what draws you in for sure. Mm -hmm. I was also yeah. gonna say about um, well, I can't read my own hand, handwriting. I made notes while you were talking, but I've already lost what it says. Um, I think I was just going to say that um, I don't work in the public facing area, but just in case anyone was curious, we also practice social distancing in the back side of things. Um, we are right now a staff of two, and we're very far. We work very far apart in one very large open room. Um, and again, like everybody else, you know, hand washing, temperature taking and all that kind of thing. Um, and we've changed our workflow so that we're not passing things around back and forth between us a lot. Um, although, like I said, everything that we have is new. We're washing our hands and things like that. It's not coming from the outside. But um, so we have changed some things. 
Yeah, we, we are working with about um, only half the staff are in the building. Um, half the staff is, are still on furlough. Um, so you might not see familiar faces or you might see faces in areas where they aren't normally um, because of like who has come back from, from furlough. You've got some people in some other areas. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and also if you were, this is off, off topic, but um, if you are interested in um, what I've mentioned about my job and technical services, Destination Downtown Lancaster did do a video with the library where we talked about summer, summer programming, what's happening, a lot of the stuff we've already talked about on here. Um, so if you're interested in that, it's called the Virtual Community. The videos on YouTube, if you if you get on YouTube and, and type in a combination of destination downtown Lancaster virtual community words, you will find it. And there's a Fairfield County one. And there is a portion that for reasons unknown to me is sideways, but is uh, film <laughs> technical services. So you do get to see that workspace. A lot of it is stuff I've talked about on here, but just if you were curious of what about what that's like, um, we kind of covered what we do in, in that department on that video. Yeah. Just holding it correctly, but something it must be something about Zoom always wanting it to be a certain way or something. <laughs> so I'm definitely sideways, but that's and it's so like weird because they had gone from like the one person to you. you know. It wasn't like nothing, nothing happened I mean, with the it just I know, and we did it the day before with no issues. So yeah. whatever, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um but but I just uh yeah, it I just so well, there you go. <laughs> So if anyone's interested in that, and then the other thing I was just going to say about getting your temperature taken um, is I'm kind of getting getting nervous um, because I the air conditioning in my car is not working. It is a weird thing. It's not like the air conditioning is actually broken. I mean, it is, but it doesn't blow out hot or cold air. It's the same thing with the heat on the levels one through three, only on like the max levels does it blow anything out. And so I Googled some of it. It seems like something that can be fixed, but of course I don't know how to do it. And But it does seem like not an enormous thing. It seems like a smaller thing because it's not like the whole thing isn't working. Anyway, so I tend to be very hot when I arrive places. And so when I have my temperature taken somewhere, I'm always like, I hope that like the surface of my forehead is not like 101 degrees because I've been in my hot car. <laughs> so the last like, few minutes before you get there, turn turn it on all the way. <laughs> on me. Yeah, I know. Because I had to go to the eye doctor yesterday and, and they're only doing everything by appointment. I just went and picked up new lenses, um, but everything is by appointment because it's a small office and they can really only have one person in there at a time. So the person before me was running late. So, you know, they were like, we'll just have to call you when you can come in. And I was like, okay, but I can't wait in my car <laughs> because it was so hot, you know? So I just went out and I stood outside the office door and I was like, I'm not impatient. I just don't want to die. <laughs> right. Yeah. But then that was the thing. I was like, okay, if my temperature is really high, just give me a chance to cool right. down before we take it again. <laughs> but it was fine. <laughs> uh, talking about temperatures and going places, um, we aren't requiring, but we are very, very strongly recommending that people wear masks when they come to the library. Um, we look at it as we're wearing the mask to protect you, and we hope that you will wear the mask to protect us. So. Did I freeze? You did. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I, I was just saying that um, we aren't recommending that we aren't requiring that people wear masks, but we are very strongly recommending it. Um, and, you know, we're wearing the mask to protect you. So we hope that you wear the mask to protect us. So, yes. And it, yes. you know, science says it helps. So, yeah. Yeah. And it, if it's the only, it's really the only. The thing we have that helps right now so that's yeah hand washing yeah. social distance and the mask that's all we got yeah. yeah which thankfully once you get that initial that initial investment in masks which for some people has been higher than others because i need one to go with every outfit um thankfully all those things are relatively affordable measures hand washing so social, social distancing and then like i said depending on your commitment level to mask variety you know can be affordable. Not a whole drawer, but I've, 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 got, I've got quite the collection going now, and yeah. I keep looking for more because they're, they're kind of a fun accessory. Like it's just, I, and I, That's I, I feel not. 
the adult acne. How am I this old and I'm still getting acne? But it's 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 a nice cover. It covers it up, man. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> cause further acne, but at least it's covering up what it causes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Ask me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I definitely can get on board with something as an accessory. And because like now like stores that I shop from normally are making masks. And so like, yeah. you know, like, patterns and colors and stuff that I might like to wear anyway. And it just, it kind of makes it more fun when I can be like, oh, what am I gonna wear today? You know? Yeah. I don't, I don't and some know. of them are really cute. Like I've got one that's got like cactuses on it. And it's just like, oh, I wear that one when I'm not in a good mood. Cause it's like, warning, I'm prickly. <laughs> Yeah, and I want to get one. Um, I'm sure they, they probably already make these, and if they don't, I'm sure they will soon. But I want to get one that has, um, like, the grimacing emoji mouth on it, the one that's just straight across showing the teeth, that one. I want to get a mask that has that on it for when I'm feeling away. <laughs> I can put that on, and everyone can be like, mm, we'll leave her alone. She's feeling like this. Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> Hello, Marilyn. <laughs> And Andrea says, if you have, must wear them, they should at least be fun. And I totally agree. I, I enjoy, I enjoy the masks. I'm, 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 I am. It's they're kind of a fun accessory. I just am liking it. And you know what else I found out wearing a mask is that I, I kind of end up having a habit of talking to myself, which I do anyway. But when I have the mask on, it's kind of like I assume people can't tell I'm talking to myself, which is as long as I'm only moving my lips. But if I'm literally talking aloud, it doesn't block sound. So I have to be cautious about that but I just kind of feel like I'm hiding and I can just like be in my own world more <laughs> more than I already, like, already a lot I have to talk louder for other people to hear me so it's okay if I say some stuff out loud now to myself right exactly I'm just like muttering all the time yeah I, I have always been a person who talks to myself because you know this is what I do yeah. um so yeah I'm doing it a lot more too that's good. That makes me feel better. Andrea says also her too. So that's, that does make me feel better because I'm just like muttering to myself in the grocery store. <laughs> like, wait a second, people can't hear you. And for some reason, I'm finding myself singing Christmas carols. I think maybe it's like, I'm used to like winter time and like covering up my face with a scarf or something. I don't know. But I've, I've been found, I find myself walking through stores singing Christmas carols with my mask on. That is very funny. Are you a major Christmas, are you like a Christmas nut? Are you, do you like love Christmas? I no. mean, everybody, okay, but you so you're not like a, a Christmas in July. No, I do love Christmas songs. Like I have yeah. always been a person who will just find myself humming Christmas songs, but I, I'm i doing it a lot more. Lately. Yeah, yeah. That's about. Yeah, someone, I told you I went to the eye doctor and she, um, she recommended this stuff. I went ahead and bought it. I don't know if it will work well or not, but um, she recommended this stuff to keep your glasses from fogging up an actual like anti-fogging product. And I know that we had some emails at work. We we're talking about glasses fogging up and saying that sometimes that doesn't work with a um, like anti-reflective coating, but I still went ahead and got it. She still sold it to me and, and said that it works for her. So um, I'll keep everyone here informed about whether or not that that worked. Cause when you wear a mask all day and you have glasses, it's just, no matter how you adjust it, it's impossible for it not to fog up, especially when it's so humid outside. Right. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm hoping that that will help on that because that's the most annoying thing for me is trying to adjust it so that they're not fogging consistently. Cause I can't do my job through a cloud. Yeah. When I wear my glasses over the mask, like the mask is here, mm -hmm. I have glasses here. Um, so that yeah. trying to hold it down and sometimes folding a tissue and putting it under there helps mm -hmm. catch some of that moisture too. Yeah. So those are, those yeah. are the two. Things usually, are yeah. Yeah. I can usually arrange it in such a way, but it still just sometimes happens and I'd love it if it didn't. Did you see that Andrea woke up in the middle of the night singing Christmas carols too? Like it's just, it's just time for that. Christmas that is weird. Maybe we're all just ready. Did you, I think, right. did, I, don't know, I don't know if we talked about this on here or not, but did you see that one thing online that was like, I'm eager for the Hallmark movie where someone like drops into the wrong Zoom meeting during like the COVID quarantine and then they fall in love or whatever. 
Yes, I I love the Hallmark Christmas movies. I'll, I'll admit it, and I I am yes, I totally want to see that one. Yeah, how are they and, going to incorporate this pandemic into the next batch of Hallmark Christmas movies? The um the the show All Rise. Um, they actually did an episode like this, like where everyone was just remoting into. I thought that was yeah. really and clever. So I yeah, I been to the Parks and Rec one. And that was fun. And uh, it's definitely doable, but probably not sustainable. Emmett, Lorraine, George. Marilyn's got a trivia question for us. The first movie of a trilogy. Yeah, I was going to say Back to the Future is the only thing I could think of because of Marty McFly. But do you want to know something? I've never seen Back to the Future. Not a single one of them. I know. Allison? No. I, I know. I know. I blame... As in most things, as we all should, my parents. Um, everyone should just blame their parents for everything that goes wrong. Um, but I blame them because when I was growing up, they they didn't watch a lot of movies. Like the movies that I watched were mainly just like like kids, kids movies. Because my parents have never been major movie watchers. And so I feel like if they were major movie watchers, they'd be like, oh, you would enjoy this. But I have a feeling they've never seen Back to the Future. So. Well, speaking of July 3rd, do you know what today is? July 3rd? Mm-hmm. It's the eight oh, that was my answer. That was my third. <laughs> it's the what? It's the eight year anniversary of me adopting my dog Kai, who's around here somewhere. Oh, he's he's hiding. Congratulations! He, he does not like when I talk on the computer. He gets a little freaked out and he hides under the bed. I don't I don't know why, um, but yeah, he has not enjoyed the the Zoom meetings for work. Um, but yes, eight years ago today, I got him. Oh. Well, congratulations. Tell him I said, you know, a happy day. <laughs> Today is also the day that Hamilton is on, or tomorrow, at some point, sometime, Hamilton becomes on Disney Plus. If that is an interesting one. It's also Tom Cruise's birthday. <laughs> Many facts. And everyone is recommending that you watch Back to the Future, Allison. No, I probably will at some point. I mean, it probably should need to, but. <laughs> I there's really like new things. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, there's going to be a lot of cultural yeah. things. There are so many references to it. Yeah. But that's the thing. I'm, I am I know enough to know the references. I knew what movie she was talking about, and I've never even seen it before. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I also didn't see Star Wars till I was in my 20s. It was before the most recent set of Star Wars movies came out. Um, I just don't care, I guess. <laughs> Is the is the fact of the matter? You're, you're allowed to not care. I know. <laughs> I care America. about many things. I care about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Marilyn says she's already watched Hamilton. So good. <laughs> I hope she liked it. <laughs> Marilyn, was, was it good? Did you like it? Tell us. I mean, I'm hoping you liked it. Marilyn is a gigantic Hamilton fan. She is just gigantic. Yes. We always joked that like every checkout of the Hamilton soundtrack on Hoopla was Marilyn. Because <laughs> it was pretty much like just she always had to check out. Yes. Always. So, I think that's the great thing about it is that everyone because we would only let her do it like twice a month um, for her library, but um <laughs> yes. they still use that. Um, I was going to say, also, the great thing about Hoopla, though, is that everything that's on there is available. So even if Marilyn is hogging the Hamilton soundtrack, other people can continue to check out the Hamilton. That's the benefit yes. of Hoopla. If you watch it on, on, on Disney+, Plus and you're like, oh, my God, I need to listen to that music some more, go to Hoopla, and you can check it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I don't have Disney+, Plus, so... I don't either, but I'm sure someone will let you watch Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton. Right. Marilyn says I sound snarky. I don't mean to. I don't mean to. She's seen it on stage. And I don't mean to sound snarky. I, I uh, <laughs> just know how much she loves it. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those people just love that. I don't know. I, the people I know who have like seen it and have listened to the music, they absolutely love it and they listen to it again and again and again. Yeah. 
So yeah. Um, maybe when it comes to movie theaters in the far off future, because that's what it was supposed to be originally is come to the movie theater. Um, and that would be, I feel like very nice because it is a stage production, you know, and like being in the theater with it, I think would be, would be pretty nice. I also am not really a musical person. Um, I, this. I'll listen. I know. Here's the thing. Musicals for me are the same thing as an action movie, whereas there's this whole sequence of things happening that are supposed to further the action in the movie. But I just want dialogue and other stuff to further the action. I don't want to watch a song and dance number and I don't want to watch an action sequence. I just want like to not have the rest of it be interrupted by this other thing. And so I know it sounds weird to compare musicals and action movies, but I feel exactly the same way about them. I feel bored during those times and I just want to know what, what happened and catch up with the normal part of the movie. <laughs> Which is the exact opposite of the way most other people feel. So Well, and that's, that's the genre that they watch, but I would, you know, it's just, it's just for whatever reason, it's just not for me. That's okay. It doesn't hold my attention, I guess, you know. But is it maybe there's too much to focus on? And it could be. I could just be overstimulated. You know, there's just too many, too many things, and it's that's probably it. Yes. <laughs> uh, Marilyn still has the rights for Hamiltons, so if programming ever gets back to normal, it's just, right? It, this year has just. I don't even know what to think of this year. It's just so strange. So I know. I know. And even when we closed in March, we didn't, we couldn't have conceived of what, you know, we thought we were closing temporarily and then we would reopen in like the same landscape, yeah. you know? Yeah, we were still planning, you know, summer reading and, you know, moving forward with that, like we were still going to have like people ha in the building and it just, it's very different. <laughs> yeah. And it is. You know, I didn't expect to be at this point in the year and still be thinking about this. So. Yeah. Well, we're going to be thinking about it for a long time. So <sighs> we'll see how it goes next week when people are back in the building. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. that'll be nice. And we'll be able to catch up here after our first week open. Um, yeah. Yeah. It'll be exciting. A big change. And um, um, so let's see. Mary is with you, except Thank for you, Mary. <laughs> the magicians. Oh my God, they have the best musical episodes. Do you watch that sh that series? I read the book. I read the first book and loved it. I don't have much of an interest in the show. I can't imagine myself actually sitting down and watching it, but I really loved the first book. And I plan on reading the other two at some point, but um, I just, I loved it so much. This actually, this is probably also the opposite of the way a series is supposed to work. But a lot of times I will watch the first in a series or read the first in a series. And I don't want to read any more because that one was really good. And I just, I don't want more from it. I want just that one. And so um, I really liked the ending of the, and I liked the story of the magicians and I would just, I will read more, but um, I was just gonna leave it at that for a while. And who's the author? Lev, Lev Grossman. Grossman, Grossman, I thought, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I read the first one and I haven't read the others either. Um, not because I didn't want to, it just, you yeah. know, like something else, so a, a different hold came available, and yeah. I went to that. Right. Never yep. back. But the TV series I love, Good. and like the character in the book that I didn't really like, I love in the TV series. And um, oh, last season made me sob. Oh, like, I haven't watched. I haven't watched this season, the, the the most recent season. Yeah, it's, it's on my DVR. I just have not had the. <laughs> the time to yeah, sit down because that's one of those series that I like to save up and like just binge mm -hmm. um but when I did that last year oh I just sobbed when I got to the ending oh. of it and my sister's like have you watched it yet I'm like no, I haven't watched it yet I haven't watched it yet I'm like, I haven't watched it yet and then when I watched it I'm like why didn't you tell me but yeah so oh that was one of those 
That sounds like that that is a good example of like a good book to TV adaptation. Yeah. It sounds like they change a lot. Um, but the, I, I was okay with that. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, it was, it's really good. I, I highly recommend both the book. That's good, and to know. That's good to know. I also highly recommend the book because, um, I'm not a fantasy reader. Um, I am a Harry Potter fanatic because of like the time in my life that that hit me and everything. But um, generally speaking, I'm not. And this I found very accessible because the avenue that gets you into it is like a fantasy children's story that was presumed to not be real, you know? And so that really, um, that helped me get into it because there was a, a touch of already like I don't know just it gave me a way in that didn't have me starting the book being like I'm going to assume that all these fantasy kingdoms are true you know and that's just harder for me to do and Mary says that they also do a fantastic love letter to librarians especially cataloging librarians well there you go hey is that in the books Mary? Is, or is, that just, is that in the books or is it just in the show um Mary Mary can get back to me on that Right. Um, I know that they, they talk about the librarians in the books, okay, but in nice. the show, like the librarians are very important. Nice. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Thank you for the recommendation. We are already at time. Already. Somehow. Somehow. All right. Hey, Lily. Hi, Lily. Yeah. Well, that's fine. That's fine too. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. I think I just liked it because of that concept of like, he was really into these like Chronicles of Narnia type of books. Mm -hmm. And like, I could really relate to that. And then yeah. just like, I don't know, it was just fun. Um, it was a very interesting take. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I guess we'll, well, yeah. We'll see you back here again next week, Allison. Yes, I'll see you next week, Leah. And next week, we'll be able to discuss our first week open and uh, hopefully answer any questions about anything that's come up with that. Um, because you never know what will come up. We plan the best we can, but then there's always something that comes up. You know what? I just thought of one more thing to add. Yeah. Um, for those of people out there who maybe don't feel comfortable coming into the library yet, uh, because they're just kind of enjoying in a, you know avoiding public places. We are still offering curbside pickup, so um, it might take a little bit longer because we've stopped checking the books out to you already. So when you come, we'll have to take a minute to check the books out on your account. But we're still going to be offering that curbside pickup for the people who don't feel comfortable coming into the library. Yes. Yet. So that will be available at all locations, and um, yeah. Yes. So that's I think a nice a nice benefit. Yeah, I think so too. I think that, that um, I hope that people still, you know, do that if they feel like they mm -hmm. want to do because um, it is a nice service to offer. It is, I've heard from several people that it's very fun to just be able to pull up to the library and have a book delivery. It's yeah. like more yeah. fun and satisfying than groceries because it's like books. And <laughs> um, and so hopefully, hopefully people still feel comfortable taking advantage of that. It'll work the exact same way, but like you said, just a little slower because they have to go check them out, but they're going to check them out because our holds notices are back to normal as well. If you have a book on hold, you'll get your normal hold notice and not uh, us calling you saying your books are ready. So, yep. So, so yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you next Friday. I hope we all have a good holiday weekend. Yes. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Bye. Bye.